Running is often described as something that is accessible to everybody. Like, you just need a pair of shoes and a body and you can do it. For amputees or other adaptive athletes, that is definitely not the case. It almost feels like a luxury without financial help or a lot of savings. It is very difficult to get into running or anything that's very active as an amputee because of the financial limitations. Being able to run, being able to move your body shouldn't be something that you can only do if you happen to be, you know, loaded. I grew up in a really athletic family. My dad's been a runner as long as I can remember, and my brother was really talented at soccer. And I, on the other hand, was the very unathletic other child. When I was 13, I had a really bad horseback riding accident, and I woke up with a very shattered ankle. So by the time I started kind of appreciating the ability to do athletic things, it was already off the table because of the injuries that I had. It's not worth living surgery to surgery with a part of my body that is continuing to degrade and continuing to get worse, and that is not gonna start getting better. And I eventually had to opt for a leg amputation for hope at a life where I could actually walk without pain, not be on a ton of pain medications. Shot. In a shot. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today where I am very excited to be sharing that I am gonna be finally, at long last, running my very first 5K in like two weeks. As I was going through that decision process, I filmed videos of myself just kind of talking it out, just being like, here's where I am in the decision process, here's what I'm thinking about, and had this lovely little community supporting me in my journey, a lot of amputees, a lot of people who were considering it. And so I kept, I kept talking, kept making videos, and I'm now at the place where this is what I do full time. And so now I talk about everything from amputations to uh, things that I'm, I'm really, really passionate about, like mental health and realizing that you're not alone when you're going through really difficult things. A year and a half after the amputation, I was able to do things I couldn't do since I was a kid. And so suddenly this whole new world of possibilities was opened up to me and running was kind of the top of my list of I really, really, really want to try that. Getting a running blade is expensive. It's not something your insurance will cover. It's something that a lot of people save up years to be able to get. So I had my sights on like, okay, we'll put some money in the, in the account for years down the road. But a friend of mine named Annika actually had an extra one and she actually offered it to me. And I jumped at that opportunity and my prosthetist was amazing and built a socket for it for me. And I got to try running for the first time. And it was so cool. And it was especially so cool having my husband there with me to see that moment because he's been my biggest supporter through all of this. Oh. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> I actually ended up working with a company in Denmark and they sent me a blade that was built specifically for me. And so in the last two months, I've been attaching that and trying it out and I'm kind of working my way up to, to that 5K. It's too bad I can't try it out. Oh, I know, Dad. Uh, I can fix that <laughs> for you. Really... <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday during the, during the interview, they asked me about a phrase that you've told me since I was a kid. Uh, I know what the phrase is. What's the phrase? You can do anything temporarily. Yes, exactly. Everything is temporary. And I was talking about how that's really helped me with um, going through like amputation and dealing with the pain and sometimes even just getting used to running. Most people facing life-changing events don't have a choice. Having to decide, most people don't face that. Yeah. I will say this, though, I, I've been very impressed that uh, you've been able to make that decision, that yeah. you knew <laughs> what you wanted yeah. and you weren't going to get it with that foot. Well, let's give it a shot then. Sounds good to me. Yeah. When I fell off a horse, the owner of the barn explained a saying called cowboy up to me, which is basically bad things happen, you've got to get back on the horse, which you can translate to a lot of things in life. But in this case, it was literally like, when you are recovered, please get back on the horse so you do not live with this fear. Something that I found with horseback riding is you have to be very aware of what your body is doing and what your mind is doing. I think translates over to running very much so that you need to be aware of what your body is doing. And when you get to a point where it feels effortless, that's amazing. But there's usually a lot of work involved to get there. I have my first 5K coming up in a couple weeks. Now, for you, 
your goal is to finish. Exactly. Know? Just that's it. Yeah. However you get there. Yeah. Being able to be there with people who have been with me through this journey is just really amazing. I don't know how it'll feel to cross the finish line, but I'm just excited to be there with them. I'm just about to go to sleep, but I just want to say that tomorrow I'm going to be running my first 5K ever. And this is an oddly emotional thing for me right now. I was actually pretty chill about it. I was pretty cool. I was like, eh, whatever. It's, it's the first one. But um, this is kind of a culmination of a very long road. Um, didn't know if I'd be able to get a running blade. And now I have two. And now I'm going to get to run a 5K tomorrow. <laughs> Awesome, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> this was actually worth it. Like I went through a lot to get here, but at the end of the day, I am actually finally able to do the things that I have only ever dreamed of being able to do. Go, and you're underway. Being able to kind of start running alongside everybody else was very cool. Coming around that final turn, seeing everybody there was really, Amazing. Running's kind of, it kind of feels a little bit addicting. I found a lot of escapes in things like horseback riding where the world just kind of fades away and it's, it's just you uh, and there's nothing else that really exists. And I felt that today, probably for the first time running where I was like, oh, okay, this is it. I'm in my own world and I'm able to just feel my body move and breathe and it's a beautiful escape. And I definitely, definitely want to do more 5Ks, uh, maybe in the fall. And doing that, I absolutely know I can do a 10K. And it makes me feel like maybe a half marathon or a marathon one day.